My name is Elijah again, and uh, I'm taking you mathematics under the topic coordinate geometry. Yeah, we have done, and uh, this class is brought to you by Isaac Humanitarian Foundation. So, we are looking at angles between the line and the x axis. We have done some topics under coordinate geometry as well, where we have a circle, circle theorem, um, <clears throat> plane geometry, and so on. But there are some other topics under this which I want to what, clarify and then, you know, <coughs> make us be on the same page with our whatever exam we are preparing for. So what we are saying, angle between the line and the exercises. We have, we, have been, we have been told in our past class, in our past online video that what? We have a Cartesian coordinate. The Cartesian, in the Cartesian coordinate, the line that is We have a line that is what the x axis that represents the x axis, and this represents the what y axis. This represents the y axis. So now, how do we denote any line on this coordinate? A coordinate is what a point. A coordinate is just a point on what the Cartesian. A coordinate is a point on the Cartesian. And for you to draw a line, you need at least two coordinates to draw a line. But now we're doing angle between the line and what the x axis. We have the x axis here. And then let us assume we have line L1. We have line L1. So the angle between this line and the x axis is what we want to determine. How do we get that? The angle comes here. And let us call it angle theta. From here, let us assume we are given the coordinate point. And the coordinate point is on this line, and we call it what s comma y. We call it s comma y, meaning that what on the s axis we have s, and on the y axis we have what y. From here we can see that the shape here form is like what a right angle triangle. It's like a right angle triangle. And then here yeah, we can assume it is what y, and we assume this is what x. By so doing, we can then say using our what trigonometrical ratio that's what tan theta is equals to the opposite, opposite over what adjacent. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which is equals to what y over what x. So it says therefore tan theta is equal to what y over s. So we have this. So how do we tan theta? We take what the arc term of what theta. So here we have theta, therefore theta is equal to arc term y over what s. So this is how we derive the angle between a line and the word x axis. So this angle here can be two. It can be what acute angle or an obtuse angle. Acute angle or an obtuse angle. So there's an angle here and there's an angle here. This is the acute angle which is an angle greater than zero degree, less than 90 degree. Obtuse angle, angle greater than what? 90 degree but less than what 180 degree. So it depends on the question you are asked that will determine, I mean the answer to the question you are asked that will determine whether it's an obtuse angle or an acute angle. So then let's take an example from this. Example. Find the angle. Find the angle between A line with point three comma two. Find the angle between the line with point three comma two on the x axis line with point three comma two mixed with the x axis mixed 
with the S as is. Find the angle between a line with point three comma two makes with the X axis. Yeah, what we do now we can just apply the formula that we have, that we have here, the solution. You see theta is equals to tan arc y minus x. Theta is equals to tan arc y minus x. From here, we just say this is our x and this is our y. We impute the word, the value into our word equation. So here, j theta, therefore, theta is equal to r tan. Our y is equal to 2 and our s is equal to 3. So theta is equal to r tan. 2 divided by 3, we get. 2 divided by 3 yeah, 0 0.667 0 0.667 2 so, R times 0 0.667 will give us what? R times 0 0.667 will give us what? 33.7 so after 3.7 degrees so our, our angle theta is equal to 33.7. So it means that since this one is greater than zero and less than 90, so we have an acute angle here. Acute angle. Acute angle. Acute angle. Let's look at another. Or from here, you can say what is the obtuse angle between what the line and what the x axis. What is the obtuse angle between the line and the x axis? We are assuming this is the x axis axis and the line is here. 33.7 degrees. Then to get the obtuse angle, angle on the straight line is what 180. So remove the 3.7 from 180 to get your what? Obtuse angle. So this one will then give us what? Our obtuse angle will then give us what? 180. Minus 33.7 degrees. So 180 minus 33.7 will give us 146.3 degrees. So this will be the word obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. So we are using just one question to get the word acute and word obtuse angle. It's as simple as that. So that is what the angle formed between a line and the word x axis. So whatever question you're giving, you always have it this way. There's no other way. It's just as simple as that, no other thing. So from here we can have what we can have another question that says the angle formed between two lines. So how do we determine the angle formed between two lines? Here we only have one line here and the word x axis. So how will you determine the angle formed between two lines? You then say angle formed between two lines. Angle formed between two lines. Here we have the y axis, we have the x axis. Y axis, x axis. These are our origin zero. So angle form between two lines. Let's say this one is line one and one. And we have another line, L2. So from line one, from x axis to this point, is the angle line one forms what? With the x axis. So what we, we can call this one theta two. And we can take this. From x axis towards to L L2, and we call this one theta 1. Theta 1. Theta 1 and theta 2. So the angle between L2 and L1 is the angle between all two lines. Angle formed between two lines. The angle, that is the angle here between L2 and L1. 
is the angle formed between two lines. So how do we get the angle here? Since from here to here is theta 1, and from here to here is theta 2, so the difference will be the angle between the two lines. So from here on now, we have what? Theta 1 minus theta 2. Theta 1 minus theta 2. So, say therefore, since tan theta is equals to n, n is our gradient. We must have they've, they've done that in the past in the past topic under the same topic uh, coordinate geometry. Say what tan theta equals to n. N is our gradient. We know our gradient what is the slope on what on the line. The slope on the line is a gradient. So we are saying tan theta is equals to n. If tan theta is equals to n, what are we meant to get? This one does the same thing as, as we did there. This one is the right angle. If tan theta is equals to n, I want to get the angle. I mean, I want to get the angle for what L two. So I can say tan theta one is equals to m1 tan theta 2 equals to m2 therefore tan theta 1 minus theta 2 will then be equals to what? from here I can apply trigonometrical identities that is when you come to tangent so where they say what? That is a compound angle. When they say what? Tan, uh, tan of an angle. When a tan of the difference between an angle is what? Tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 all over 1 plus tan theta 1 tan theta 2. This is what we have there. And we know that tan theta 1 is equal to what? M1. So we replace it. Therefore, tan theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to M1 minus tan theta 2 is what? M2. M2 over 1 plus M1, M2. So that's what we have. M1 is the gradient of the what? Of the first line. M2 is the gradient of what? Of the second line. So I'm not going through this one again because they have treated it in the previous topics on that circle geometry. So from here now, we know the angle. We'll be able to calculate the angle between what? Two lines, which is what? Theta 1 minus theta 2 by using what? This equation. So I will take an example. We will take some examples under this topic and then we move further. Okay, let's really take these questions on the, this topic. So we say we want to find, <clears throat> find the angle between the lines with the following coordinate points. Number option, I mean number A. Solution. A. You have point A, one comma minus two, and point B, minus 3, comma 1. So let us call this one because I said the line is formed at, at least with what, two points. So we have points 1 and point what, 2. So we have these two points of the Cartesian. When you join them together, we form a line. So here we can use this to get what, the gradient of the first line. And in the same way, we get the gradient of the second line with that. So using this, we have what S1, Y1, S2, Y2. Therefore, M1 is equal to what? Y2 minus Y1 over S2 minus S1. So which is equal to Y2 is what? 1 minus and our Y1 is what? Minus 2 over S2 minus 3 and our S1 is what? Minus 1. This will give us what? 1 plus 2 over what? Minus 4. So this then being what 3 over minus 4. So that's our what, first gradient. Taking the second one, say s 2 comma minus 3 and y 0 comma 1. So 
calculating the gradient for this n2 is equal to the same way y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 is equal to y2 is what? y2 to so put s1 y1 s2 y2 our y2 is 1 minus our y1 minus 3 over s2 is what? 0 minus s1 2 so this one gives us what? 4 over what? minus 2 which is equal to what? minus 2 so we have m1 and, f and m2 that's just what we need to calculate the angle between what? two lines on the Cartesian graph so what we have to do now we just compare this two and bring out the equation equation is what? tan theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2 so this one then will be equal to our m1 is what? minus 3 over 4 minus and our m2 is what? minus 2 over 1 plus m1 is what? minus 3 over 4 and our m2 is what? minus 2 this then will give us by solving this one we have what? minus times minus is plus so we have minus 3 over 4 plus 2 over then here we have minus 1 minus 3 over 4 we still have minus 2 here minus and minus will give us plus so we then have the LCM of this and over 1 LCM is still 4, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 3 plus 8 we have what? 5 so we have 5 over 4 all over then from here minus and minus gives us plus we have 1 plus 3 over 2 we say therefore tan theta 1 theta 2 is equal to 5 over 4 over so 1 plus 3 over 2 what do you get? you get 5 over 2 and 2 times 1 2 plus 3 5 5 over 2 so this then gives us 5 over 4 times 2 over 5 so when we cancel out we have 2 here, 1 over 2 1 over 2 so by dividing this we get 0 0.5 we have time theta 1 minus theta 2 equals to 0 0.5 therefore theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to r time 0 0.5 r time 0 0.5 will give us what? r time 0 0.5 <coughs> and 0.5 give us 26 26.565 so we can say theta 1 minus theta 2 is approximately equals to 27 degrees as to the nearest degree the nearest degree to the nearest degree it's a one and a two so that's all we have that's the angle between what the two lines when you are giving what two lines you have to find the angle we have that so let's look at number two number b the same way the same fashion from here you can just say what s1 y1 s2 y2 do the same thing to this S1, Y1, S2, Y2. So from here I can simply calculate the word gradient of the first line. Gradient of the first line, GH. I have M1 is equal to what? Y2 minus Y1 over S2 minus S1. So for this, Y2 is equal to what? 2. And Y1 is equal to what? 3 over S2 is equal to what? Minus 5 and S1 is equal to what? 0 so this one gives me what? Minus 1 over what? Minus 5 which is equal to what? 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 5 so M1 is equal to 1 over 5 then M2 
Same way, y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 is equal to m2 we have y2 is equal to what 3 then y1 is equal to what 1 over 2 we have s2 to be what 2 over 5 and s1 to be what minus 1 so here by solving this we then have what 3 minus half we have 2 and half so 2 half over here this one gives us plus 2 over 5 plus 4 which is equal to then this one 5 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 20 what 2 so we have 2 half over what 22 over 5 so by doing this we then have 2 times 2 4 plus 1 5 5 over 2 over what 22 over 5 this then gives us what 5 over 2 times 5 over 22 So, M2 is equal to 25 over what? 2 times 20 over 44. Divide 25 over what? 44. <coughs> so, here we can fix our what? The value of the gradients into our own equation. So, we have therefore tan theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to M1 minus M2 over 1 plus m1 m2 so this there will be equals to m1 equals 1 over 5 minus m2 25 over what 44 all over 1 plus then m1 m2 m1 is what 1 over 5 and m2 25 over 40 over 44 44 So from here, 5, we cancel 5, we have 5a. So here we have LCM of 5 and 44. 44 times 5. 220. Over 5 into 20 is 44, so we have 44 minus. 44 in this is 5. 5 times 25 is 125. All over. So from here, we have 5 remaining here. So 5 over 44 plus 1. So 44 plus 1 is 49. 49 over what? 44. So this then gives us 44 minus 125. 44 minus 125 is equal to minus 81 over 220 over 49 over 44. Therefore, tan theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to what? Minus 81 over 220 times 44 over 49. From here, when you do the multiplication and everything, tan theta 1 minus theta 2 then equals to when you multiply and divide, what then do we have? We have 81 times 44 divided by 220 divided by 49. So we have minus 0 0.33. Minus 0 0.33. You see, therefore, theta 1 minus theta 2 is then is equal to what? R time minus 0 0.33. So what do you get here? R time. So here we have theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to what? 18. 126 degrees. We are getting in the answer, we are getting negative, but we cannot have a negative degree. So it doesn't matter. What it's just saying is that what? The angle is on the what? On the negative side of the x, R, x and y axis. That's why we have a negative. So this is our answer for what? I mean for question 2. And that is it for that. Then, 
He can be asked to find the equation of a line parallel or perpendicular to another line. Equation of a line parallel or perpendicular to another line. A line is parallel to another line if the gradients are, are equal. Why a line is perpendicular to another line if what the gradient, the product of their gradient, the product of their gradient is equal to what minus one. So two lines are parallel, and L one is parallel towards L two. If M one is equal to M two, and again line L one is perpendicular towards L two. If M one M two is equal to what? Minus 1. If M1, M2 equals to minus 1. That is it. So, quickly, you can, say, you can have a question under this example. Say, find the equation. Find the equation of 1. Find the equation of a line parallel. Parallel to the line two s plus y minus three equals to zero. Find the equation of the line parallel to this line. And again, two. Find the equation. Find the equation of a line. Perpendicular, perpendicular to another line, perpendicular to the line minus 3s plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. This is the general form of an equation. General form of an equation. So from here we are asked to find the equation of a line that is parallel toward this line from question 1. So we are taking this equation 2s plus y minus 3 equals to 0. We want to find a line that is parallel to this line. But from this question, that line to the line, equation of the line parallel to this line, which passes through? Which passes through? Point, which passes through point 1 comma minus 2 and this one which passes through which passes through point minus 2 comma 2 we find the equation of a line parallel to the line this and the line passes through what 1 comma minus 2 we have this one, what we have to do is what? Find the gradient of this equation, of the given equation, and equate it to the gradient of the what? The equation we are required to find. Because two lines are what parallel when the gradient are what equal. So from here, I want to find the equation. How do I find the equation of this? I will use what? The intercept, the gradient and intercept form, which is what? Ns plus y, y equals to ns plus c. y is equals to what? ns plus c. That's what the gradient and the intercept form. The gradient n, the intercept on what? y axis, c. So, I will write, I will write this equation in this form and then take the gradient of the word equation. So, how do I do it? I make y the subject of the equation. Making y the subject of the equation, I say therefore 2s plus y equals to what 3. I'm taking 3 to the other side. So I'm taking 2s to the other side as well. y is equals to what? Minus 2s plus 3. So from here, comparing this equation to this, I have what? Transform this equation to this form. So I can easily take the gradient minus 2. I can easily take the gradient to the word minus 2. So I can say, therefore, m is equal to what? Minus 2. 
So the gradient of the line is minus 2. And remember, when two lines are parallel, the gradients are equal. Meaning that the gradient of the second of the required equation also will be what? Minus 2. The gradient of the second equation will be minus 2. So what do you have to do now? We say, therefore, since M1, we can call this M1, gradient of the first of the uh, given equation, M1. So M1 equals to M2, gradient of the required equation equals to what? Minus 2. So the both are equal to what? Minus 2. So from here, I can form the equation that we are required to find. The equation is what? I can use the general, uh, I can use the gradient and intercept form the same way. Equals to y equals to ms plus c. So from here, since the gradient are equal, I substitute the minus 2 into all this equation. So I have y is equals to minus 2s plus c. So what is left now is for me to find the word, the constant term or the intercept of y axis. How do I do that? I will now have to use the point that we are given. Because they said the point, I mean the line, passes through this point. So the line passes through this point. So here I have x and y. So I'll substitute the value of x and y in this equation, then I'll get the value of c. So say from here, x comma y is equal to 1 comma minus 2. So I have therefore, so I'm substituting for y now. y is minus 2. 1 plus what c. So this one is minus 2 is equal to minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 plus c. Then I'm taking find c. So therefore, c is equal to minus 2 plus 2, which is equal to what? 0. So our c is 0. So say, therefore, hence the equation, the e equation is what well, since our c is 0, so I'm replacing the c with 0. Y is equal to minus 2s plus 0. So bringing everything to the general form, we may leave our answer like this in what the gradient and intercept form. Bringing it to the general form, we then have what 2s plus what y equals to what 0. 2s plus y equals to 0. This is what we have. This is what the required equation. Given what? I mean, the, the equation of the line parallel to another line. Then the last one under this topic is what the equation of the line perpendicular to another line. We have equation number two. The equation is what? Minus 3s plus 2y. Equation number two. Minus what? 1 equals to 0. Do it the same way and finding what? The gradient of this equation. The gradient, I transform it to what? The gradient and intercept form. Ms plus C. So from here, I have to transform this equation to this form. So how do I do it? I'll make Y the subject of the equation. So take everything to the other side, leaving my head, leaving 2Y here. So I have 2Y is equal to what? 3S plus what? 1. And I divide all through by what? 2. Divide through. Divide through by by what 2. So then I have y is equal to 3 over 2 s plus what 1 over 2. So from here in the same thing, in the same fashion, our what 3 over 2 is the gradient. So say therefore m1 equals to what 3 over 2. So but in a perpendicular, if two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradients are what equal to the product of their gradient is equal to what minus 1. So from here Say, but m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. So I want to get m2, the gradient of the words, the, the second equation. So therefore, therefore, so I'm replacing m1 with what 3 over 2. Replacing m1 with 3 over 2. 3 over 2 times m2 is equal to what? Minus 1. So m2 is equal to minus 1 over what? 3 over 2. m2 is equal to what? Minus 2 over 3. So that's the gradient of what? The second equation. So for us to not get the equation, now 
using the same method y equals to what ns plus c see using the gradient and intercept form so i'm substituting this one in the equation now this n2 so i'm substituting the gradient in the equation so i have y is equals to minus 2 over 3 s plus what c so now i have to get my constant time c how do i do that i have to come back and check the point we are giving you say the line the perpendicular line passes through this point minus 2 comma 2 so I have S and what Y. So I put S and Y. So when when Y is equal to 2, S is equal to what? Minus 2. S is equal to minus 2 plus what? C. So I'm now looking for what? Finding what? C. So I have 2 is equal to 4 or 3 plus C. So therefore my C is equal to 2 minus 4 over 3. C is equal to what? 2 over what? 3. C is equal to 2 over 3, so now I can take it and substitute it in the equation and find what the, the equation of the perpendicular line. So now I have y equals to ns plus c. My n is what minus 2 over 3. y equals to minus 2 over 3s. And my c is what 2 over 3. So then I want to transform it to what to the general form of the equation. So I bring the value of, I mean the term in S to this side and I leave the constant time to, uh, at the other side. So I have what 2 over 3 S plus Y is equal to what 2 over 3. Another way if you don't want to leave your answer like this you can multiply through. Multiply through by what 3. So then we can have what? 2s plus 3y equals to what? 2. And our final answer. Thank you.